Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Calamity Endgame Weapon Showcase. Today we are on Anna the Archer because we're showcasing another Endgame bow, and she's our Archer character, so what better person to show off the bow than her? We are going to be looking at the Heavenly Gale bow. It's just an incredible bow that can be acquired post Yaren, and it's the perfect weapon to fight Supreme Calamitous with. You can see it shoots off tornadoes similar to what you see from the Alluvian bow, and it's got kind of the Cosmolite or Lunarian bow lasers that it shoots out in front. It's the Exoblade of bows, and as such has a very complicated crafting tree, which we'll look at a little bit later. Its damage shows as 2,216 with 104% critical strike chance, very fast speed, extremely strong knockback, it fires a barrage of five random exo arrows, green explode into a tornado, blue cause a secondary group of arrows to fire on enemy hits, orange cause explosions on death, the teal arrows ignore enemy immunity frames, and it has a 66% chance of not consuming ammo. I've got it rolled to unreal and I'm using bloodfire arrows since those have the max range damage, and I've got aura tesla armor and a bunch of accessories for movement, defense, and damage. Let's take a look at what this weapon can do on just a, a super target dummy. This dummy acts as an enemy, and so it allows you know these sort of things to spawn. You can see we're hitting 500, 600, 700,000, 750. Let's see, oh, we broke 800. We might even break 900,000. And just to remind you, this is a pre-Supreme Calamitous weapon, and that was able to do, on a single target, 900,000 damage right there. Granted, though all of those tornadoes were stacked directly on top of this target, and the longer we shot, the more tornadoes spawned, so that definitely increased the damage quite a bit, but this is just an absolute beast of a weapon, and it's one that you can use on Supreme Calamitous before defeating her, so I would highly recommend crafting this for any Ranger class. And just to show you the power, let's take a quick look at how it does against Providence. Very quick, very simple. And we can test it on our other DPS test, the Devourer of Gods. It's a little bit slower on the Devourer of Gods, I think, because we're having issues with the tornadoes not hitting the head so it doesn't do that much damage. But on Supreme Calamitous, the way she moves, the tornadoes really do a ton of damage. Oh, it went up through a planetoid. It's kind of fun. Okay, that was a good clear. It would have been much faster had we not had it go through that planet. And if you watch the Anna the Archer series, you'll definitely see us defeat Supreme Calamitous with this weapon in episode 30 and 31. So it's very viable for Supreme Calamitous, and as you go up and down, you can actually form a ton of tornadoes right on top of the boss. And as you, like right here, for example, pretend that's Supreme Calamitous, all these tornadoes are gonna be doing tons of damage to the boss as you go up and down in that part of the fight. So it's very effective. And it also will lag the game slightly if you get lots of tornadoes, which will not be kind of game-breakingly laggy, but it will help a little bit on the fight. Let's go to a safe place on top of our base and take a look at this crafting recipe. The Heavenly Gale is a really unique bow because it has one of the biggest recipes in the game, but it also is an ingredient for an even larger recipe for the Drat Bow. First of all, it needs the Alluvian Bow which is one of my favorites as well. It needs Astral Defeat, the Clockwork, Flare Wing, Gale Force, Planetary Annihilation, and the Ballista. And of course, the Auric Tesla Bars, which we'll get after defeating the Jungle Dragon. And we can take a quick look at each of these recipes. The Alluvian Bow is a bit of a recipe because it needs the Monsoon, Phantoplasms, Cosmolite, Death Cells, Luminil, and Tenebris. And the Monsoon comes from the Tsunami, Shark Fin, Depth Cells, Luminil, Tenebris, and Vortex Fragments. The Astral Defeat is also another tricky recipe because it requires a bunch of bows from Hard Mode, the Dark Echo, the Blade Ridge, Great Bow of Turmoil, Shadow Flame Bow, and a Magic Weapon, which is the Spirit Flame. And then you need Luminite. And that's how you craft the Astral Defeat. The Clockwork Bow is pretty simple. It's just 
cogs and illuminite. The flare wing bow is something you can get really early hard mode, and it's a really good upgrade to the hell wing bow. It needs essence of sunlight, living fire, and obsidian. And then gale force is pre hard mode. You just use aerial light. The planetary annihilation is an early post moon lord weapon. You need galactica singularities, luminite, the cosmic bolter, and the daedalus storm bow. The cosmic bolter is like the Terra Blade of Bows, so that has a, its own big recipe, which is the Lunarian, Living Shards, Hollowed, and Souls of Sight. And the Lunarian needs the Tendon Bow, Molten Fury, Bee's Knees, and Purified Gel. And the last bow you need for this recipe is the Ballista. The Ballista can be crafted from the Marrow Bow, which you can either buy from the vendor, the Skeleton Vendor in Hard Mode, or you can find it from Skeleton Archers in Hard Mode. The Forbidden Fragments, which you can get from the Sand Elementals during a Sandstorm. And, of course, the Ectoplasm, which you can get in the dungeon later in Hard Mode. And that is the huge recipe for the Heavenly Gale. In my opinion, it's definitely worth the intense crafting recipe because it just is such a powerful bow. It looks amazing, and the effects are awesome. So, I highly recommend it. And just really quickly, let's see how it performs against the Boss Rush. So the last weapon showcase we did was for the Contagion. And I'm curious how this compares in power and in speed of defeating these bosses. So far it seems to be pretty good, but not nearly the level of Contagion. You can see the lag that I mentioned earlier. The more these tornadoes appear, the more it's going to start slowing down the frame rate. That probably took two to three times the amount of time that the Contagion Bow took to defeat the same boss. It's hard to compare a post-Supreme Calamitous weapon to a weapon that you get from Yaren. If we're comparing this to other Exo weapons, this is probably one of the better ones. King Slime's a really good DPS test. So let's see what we can do on DPS. So we're at 200, 260. The tornadoes, unfortunately, are missing them, but we got up to 350 for a second there. 300. That concludes our showcase of the Heavenly Gale Bow. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you have, be sure to like and subscribe so you can catch the next episodes. I also do Terraria Let's Play videos, so be sure to check those out. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.